Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body strength training workout. The only equipment required for this workout is a pair of dumbbells, but you'll also have the opportunity to use a utility bench. Choose a weight that is challenging for you, but that still allows you to perform each exercise with proper form. While we will be providing some easier modifications, this is not a beginner workout. If you're a true beginner and you've never worked out before, we recommend you click the link up top and it'll send you on over to our beginner strength training workout. All right, so if you're ready to go, let's, let's get started. Do it. Starting with a light warm up, we're gonna do a run in place plus an arm crossover. So on this arm crossover, I want you to alternate which arm is on top. We're gonna to get a nice full range of motion, opening those arms up and then crossing them over. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. And that run in place, again, just a nice light touch with the balls of your feet making sure to breathe. We're not counting any repetitions in this warm up. It's just about moving at your own pace, getting that heart rate up, and then we're gonna sneak a little bit of extra mobility work in at the same time. This warm up is just that, it's just a warm up, so make sure that you're not going too hard. We don't want you to overexert yourself here. Save it for the workout. It is a warm one in the gym it today. Is. You're gonna see us sweating, well at least me, I don't know about Claudia. <laughs> nice and light touches on the balls of those feet. Opening that chest all the way up, feeling that stretch as you open those arms up. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, shake those arms loose. Next, we're gonna move into an overhead squat plus a hamstring stretch. So feet are shoulder width apart. It's gonna bring those arms straight up, palms facing one another. We're gonna move into an overhead squat. Keep that weight back in your hips, keeping good posture. Your arms are in line with your body. Reach down to your feet or ankles and extend those hips back and stand up. Repeat, so weight goes back in the hips. Nice, full range of motion, overhead squat and then stretch those hamstrings and return up. Now, depending on your flexibility, you may or may not be able to get quite as far down as we are on that overhead squat. Just try your best to get as far down as you can, bringing those hips back while keeping your arms and your body in a nice diagonal line. Weight back in the hips, feet stay flat on this one. Good, this is a great one really to loosen up your entire posterior chain also, also helps you work on that depth on your squat if you have any mobility issues there. Just a nice total body move, loosening everything up, getting ready for this work we have coming. Good. Moving at a nice relaxed pace. Again, this one isn't a race. Just going through the movements here. Every time on that overhead squat, really focus on driving those hips back first and then bending at the knees it'll help you keep your balance keep those feet flat you don't want to come up on your toes or on your heels let's do this one for five four three two one and last one zero good all right we're moving to the floor for the next one we're going to do a high plank position we're gonna do a high plank Y plus rotation. So from a high plank position, we're gonna bring one arm up and out, then bring it to your head and rotate. 
reverse direction and repeat on the opposite side. So one arm straight out, keeping your core tight, bring it to the head, then rotate. So here's your Y, bring that one arm out and then your rotation. Good. Excellent one for both shoulder mobility as well as that thoracic spine, loosening it up. Again, getting ready for that work that we have to come. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with and just trying to increase that overall body temperature, get a little mobility at the same time, loosen up those muscles. You got it, working at a pace you feel comfortable with. Let's hit this last warm up move for just 10 seconds. Side to side, making sure to breathe throughout. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath for three, two, one, and zero. Nice job. For our first superset, we're gonna go back and forth between a lower body move and an upper body move. We only need one dumbbell for this lower body move. We're gonna do a one leg deadlift. So Claudia's gonna be showing you the slightly easier modification. Hold that dumbbell in one hand, opposite hand of the leg that's gonna be working. Go ahead and put your weight back in your hips, sit back, bend at that knee, keep your core nice and straight. And I'm gonna stand up with that one leg where Claudia is gonna then go ahead and put that second leg down on the ground. She's gonna do one leg down and she's gonna do two legs up. You decide which variation is right for you. We're gonna do three sets of eight repetitions. All right, let's go ahead and get started on that first leg. Keep that core tight, back stays straight. Really emphasize driving those hips back and putting that weight back in your hips. You wanna keep your foot flat on the ground on this one. You don't wanna go back onto your heel or come up onto your toes. So at the same time, you're driving those hips back and bending at the knee. Keep your core tight, head stays in a nice neutral position. We have three more to go. And you get nice full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Trying your best to balance. Not about being perfect on this one. It's okay if you need to touch down for a second. Last one right here. Breathe in on the way up, out on the way down. There, Next all right. Sides. Next side. Good posture. Again, breathing in as you lower. Inhale and then breathe out. Exhale on the way up. Try to get that breathing down with every move. And this one's really all about control. Not a race on this one. You can see we're really both focusing on that time under tension on this one. Putting that weight back in your hips. You see I have my opposite arm out for balance. You can choose if that works for you. Another little balance tip is to find a focal point, something for your eyes to focus on. Keep your eyes on it, it'll help you stay Two balanced. Two more. I usually focus on something right here in front of me, yeah, on like, the ground. Yeah, just like a couple feet out in front of your lead leg. This is your last one right here, guys. Excellent, Eight. okay. So you can go ahead and pick up your second dumbbell. I'm gonna change weights for this one if you need to change or uh, change weights or keep the same weight, it's up to you. That's why it's nice having a couple different uh, weight variations. We're gonna do a drag curl plus an Arnold press. So palms are up in front of us, dumbbells are resting up against your legs. Keep those dumbbells up against your body as you curl and bring them all the way up. Now we're gonna perform our Arnold press, pressing straight up overhead, twisting those palms until they're facing forward. Now reverse direction and then drag, curl back down, dumbbells stay up against your body. So that's one rep. We're gonna do eight repetitions in total. All right, here we are. Dumbbells stay up against us. Full range of motion all the way up. Press overhead. Reverse it and down. By keeping these dumbbells up against you in this drag form, it really isolates those biceps and does not allow your shoulders to get involved, and it really makes it hard for you to use any momentum. So it's a great way just to isolate those biceps. This one also works well with the barbell as well. Nice full range of motion all the way up. But without the Arnold press. But without the Arnold press, yes. Only <laughs> I was the trying to, I was like, huh, No, it only work? works, I'm sorry, take that back. The drag <laughs> curl only works well with the Arnold press, or with the dumbbell curl, not quite with the press. Slight bend in those knees, core stays nice and tight. 
Excellent. Full range of motion. We have three more reps. All the way up, all the way down. Keep those wrists nice and tight and locked. You don't want what I call spaghetti wrists where they're flimsy and just dangling. Good. This is actually a four-part move. So even though it's only eight repetitions, it's going to feel like more. We got one more. Yep. Last one right here. Again, keep those dumbbells up against you. Full range of motion press overhead and return. Good. Okay, so that's one down of each exercise. We're going to go back to the one leg deadlifts. We're doing three sets of each back and forth. So one down, two to go of both of these. Right into it while our upper body's resting. Legs are going to work. Three, two, one, and begin. Remember, find your focal point. And you know, it's not about being perfect on this balance. Of course, you're trying to improve and you're trying to be perfect, but don't beat yourself up if you have some moments of instability here. You'll see we're not going to be perfect along the way, that's for sure. Not about being perfect, it's just about doing your best, getting a little bit better every single workout. Three more on this side. Nice full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. You got it, guys. Nice work. And last one. Right here, finish this leg strong. Good, okay, <sighs> opposite side now. Eight repetitions, let's hit it right into it and begin. Ooh, this temperature in the gym is gonna kick my butt today. <laughs> Just as much as the workout is, I'm telling you, it is warm here today. I'm sure there's some of you where it's freezing cold right now and you're not feeling sorry for me, but. That's all right. <laughs> if you're south of the equator, you have total opposite weather than we do. So very true. You're totally okay. Good. Make sure to drive those hips back. This is a great one for hamstrings, glutes, quads, as well as working on that stability and balance. Good. Back stays straight on this one. Two more. Make sure you're actually bending at the knees and at the hips and not just bending over at the waist. Last one right here. And zero. Okay, set that dumbbell down. Grab your second dumbbell, choosing that weight that's appropriate for you. And let's get right into those drag curl plus Arnold press. Palms are facing forward. Three, two, one. Let's get it going all the way up. And as you press up, you're rotating those palms. They're facing forward and finishing with your biceps by your ears. Good work. Anytime you're doing a strength training routine like this, it's great to have at least two pairs of dumbbells if you can. It really helps you switch up the weight for, for different movements. Some moves you're going to be stronger on, some you're going to be weaker on. That's why you see I use those adjustable power block dumbbells. Make my life a little bit easier when it comes to having multiple pairs of dumbbells ready. And you notice I dropped my weights also. I figured if I want to make it through this entire workout, I should probably right? drop the weight a little bit. Yeah, that's true. You can always go up in weight if you need to. But if you start light, it helps you to make sure you finish strong. All right, and we have two more. And that just comes with workout experience, getting better at knowing your own body and what weight to use so you don't burn out too quick. Last one. Last one right here, all the way up and all the way down. All right, good, that's two down, one to go of each one. And if you are interested in these oh. uh, power block adjustable dumbbells, we do have a link in the video description for you to check them out. All right, here we are, back to the legs. Let's get it going. Showtime in three, two, one. If I make it through all three sets of these without falling, it will be nothing short of a miracle. Well, I have noticed that my, my balance gets a little better and as uh, the workout progresses. So you may find that by this third set, your balance is great. That's true. Usually the first set of the day is the one that super wobbly is the hardest as your body's getting used to this new move. Full range of motion. Make Three sure more. Break at the hip and at the knee. Fighting through that burn that you might be Two. feeling. Getting stronger every rep. Last one right here. Good. Okay. Switch it up. Opposite side now. And last eight of this one. Full range of motion, bend at the hips and at the knee at the same time. Good. Back stays straight. You want to hunch over Ooh. on this one. Almost lost it there. <laughs> Three. 
Like I said, it's not about being perfect. It's just about putting in the work, getting in a little bit better every time. Almost there. Three more. Last three right here, guys. Come on. Doing it together right there with you. Rep by rep, getting stronger. Here we are. Great unilateral move. Oh, even out any imbalances you may have. Last one. Ooh, done with those and for the day. Zero. Okay, cross those off the list. Let's go back to the drag curl plus Arnold press. Here we are. Working those shoulders, biceps, triceps on this one. Full range of motion. All the way up. All the way down. Don't want to let any little half reps. Don't want to cheat herself. Come on. Get those shoulders back. Core stays tight and engaged on this one. Stay focused on that form. And again, as you get tired, you'll notice it'll be tempting to speed up a lot of these repetitions or to use momentum. We encourage you not to do so. We really want those muscles to work and contract throughout that full range of motion. So stay under control on these. Doing great, getting stronger with every repetition. Which is another reason why we say, you know, challenge yourself with the weight that you're using but not too much to where you can't uh, do this with proper form. Exactly. So, so if it's feeling too easy and you want to go too fast, then you may want to reconsider the weight a little bit. Exactly. And again, that's just where the experience comes in and really learning what weight is right for you. And as you get stronger, that weight's going to change and you're going to need heavier weight. All right, guys, you have one more after this one. Almost there. Finishing this last set strong. There we go. Last wrap of these right here. Push it through. And zero, nice <sighs> job. For our next superset, we're gonna go back and forth between an RDL plus row and then an underhand chest press. So for the second one, the underhand chest press, you'll have the opportunity to use a bench press or a stability ball if you want. But for this RDL plus row, we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, little bend in those knees. And we're gonna keep that same bend in your knees throughout the whole move, back stays straight, as we lower ourselves, lower those dumbbells to about mid shin level, and then pull back and row from those elbows. Now drive your hips forward to stand up big and tall. That's one repetition. We're gonna do three sets of eight of this one. All right, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, zero. I really want you to drive those hips back, keeping that slight bend in your knee throughout. So we're not gonna squat down, but we're really just gonna drive those glutes back. Like we're trying to touch your glutes and your butt to that wall behind you. So stretch those hips back, keeping just that slight bend in the knees till those dumbbells reach about mid chin. And up at the top, I want you to squeeze those glutes. Again, we're doing eight repetitions on this one. It's a great overall posterior chain move hitting your hamstrings, your glutes, lower back and upper back. Good. Back stays straight throughout the whole move. Keep that head. Two in, more. Keep your head in a nice neutral position on this one. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. Last one right here. And up. Excellent. Okay, we need both dumbbells for the next one. I'm gonna do this one from the floor. Claudia is gonna do this one from the bench, but if you have a stability ball, you could also do it with a stability ball. We're gonna do an underhand chest press. So it's like a traditional chest press, but only our palms are gonna be facing up or forward. So a little bit different move. I'm gonna do it from the floor. So we're gonna do a full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. If you're doing it from the floor, we don't want to bounce your arms off the ground. All right, here we are. Eight repetitions in three, two, one, full range of motion. Bring those elbows out as you come down and then bring those dumbbells together as you come up. You're squeezing your chest up at the top and trying your best to keep your elbows directly under those dumbbells throughout the whole move. We don't wanna get any, any awkward positioning on this one. You have three more. Controlling every repetition, not rushing through it. And instead, really focusing on that time under tension, making sure those muscles are working. And last one right here. All the way up and all the way down. Excellent work. Okay, so that's 
one down of each of these. Two more to go. Two more to go. So again, three rounds in total. Going back to that RDL plus row. Make Move sure my weights out of the way here. Remember, every time you're picking up these weights off the ground, use your legs, come down and get into a squat or a deadlift to get them up. Injury free. It's hard to get our gains if we have an injury. All right, feet are shoulder width <laughs> apart. Let's True hit that, that RDL. Weight back in the hips. All the way down. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings and pull back from the elbows. Good. Squeeze the glutes up top. Anytime we're doing any type of row, we really want you to focus on pulling back from the elbows. Don't think about pulling back from your hands, right? But instead from the elbows. Good. Full range of motion. Feel that stretch in the back on every rep. It's the halfway point. Guys are doing great. Keep it up. Rep by rep. Just getting you that much closer to your goal, whatever it may be. Just want you to stay focused on that goal. Something made you come here today. Something inspired you to start this video. Focus on that throughout. Last Don't, one. Whatever you do, do not lose sight of it. And squeeze those glutes at the top. All right. All right back into that underhand chest press. Moving to the floor. And at any time during today's workout, you need to adjust your weight in between sets. We encourage you to do so. That's right. You'll see us definitely shuffle with our weights here. Exactly. Don't, don't just use the same weight for convenience. Always finding a new way, finding the weight that's appropriate for your fitness level. A lot challenges you, but allows you to keep proper form. All right, here we are in three, two, one. Underhand chest press, full range of motion. And now if you're doing this one from the bench or from a stability ball, really the major advantage is it just allows you to get a little fuller range of motion where I have to stop because my arms are hitting the ground. Claudia can go about another one to two inches. She just gets a little more range of motion, but both still good moves. Two more. Squeeze that chest up at the top. Boom. There it is. And one more. Right. got one more. Last one right here. Excellent. Excellent work. Okay. That's two down, everybody. Oh, man. Did we mention it's hot in the gym today? Ooh, um, if it wasn't <laughs> obvious, you can see what I have going on here in this little situation. Hope it doesn't gross you guys out too much. If it does, I'm sorry. Just a product of us working our butts off. All right, here we are. RDL plus row. Getting into position. Use those legs to pick up your weights. Make sure Feet the reminder, coach. The and last <sighs> set at least, let's get into it. Hips back. Back is straight. Feel that stretch. Pull back from those elbows. Good. And if you're looking for a little more of a challenge on this one, this is one that if you have a barbell, you can swap out and use a barbell on this move. Ooh, yeah. That's a good idea. Just a little heavier weight. Totally up to you. We encourage you to make this workout your own. Adjust it, make it easier, harder, whatever it takes so it suits you and your specific needs. Just remember to keep that core nice and tight. Keep it engaged throughout. That's right. It's like doing an ab workout without ever getting down on the ground for a crunch. It's the best. That's right. Keep it nice and tight, guys. Two more. This one's working that grip too. Feel like forearms working on this one as well. Last one. Here we are, last one. Finish strong, pull back on those elbows. Squeeze those glutes, boom. You got it, all right. Last set of this underhand chest press. To the ground we go. I think I'm gonna increase my weight a little bit. That's it, and if you're not feeling challenged, there's only one reason, because this, uh, it doesn't matter how strong you are, this workout can challenge you, you just have to use more weight. So That's right. always adjusting that weight. All right, we're breathing down, breathing in on the way down and exhaling on the way up. So breathe in as you lower those dumbbells and exhale on the way up. And that's true for any exercise. You're always inhaling on the lowering or eccentric part of the movement and then exhaling on the part that's hard. Halfway through. Or the concentric part of the movement. Excellent, you got a full range of motion. Control that descent as well. Don't just allow those dumbbells to fly down. Almost there, guys. And you have one more after this. Ooh. Ooh. Here we are, last one, finish strong. And zero, excellent job. We got another killer superset coming your way. I'm gonna grab two dumbbells for this first one. We're gonna do either a dumbbell side lunge plus upright row or a dumbbell lateral squat plus upright row. You decide which one is right for you. I'm gonna take a bigger step. Claudia's gonna take a shorter step. 
And then as we come up, we're gonna bring those elbows up into an upright row. I'm feeling that nice stretch where Claudia is stepping out into more of a traditional squat. Either way, you're still gonna get a good challenge. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna do six in each direction, 12 in total. Here we are in three, two, one. Good, keep good posture. Head and chest is up. And as you stand up, pull straight up on those elbows. One rep right into the next. Try to get good depth. Kick that weight back in your hips on this one. Last one. Keep those feet flat. All right, switch awesome. opposite switch side. Sides. That's it. And begin opposite side now. Good. Pulling up on those elbows as you perform that upright row like you're zipping up a jacket. Big reach. Two more. Making sure to breathe in, breathe out. Last one. And zero. All right, so you set these dumbbells down. We're gonna alternate this one with a diamond push-up. Claudia is gonna do this one from her knees. I'm gonna do it up, feet, up on my feet. You decide which variation is right for you, but either way, we're getting into a push-up position, making a diamond shape with their hands. This one's really gonna emphasize those triceps, shoulders and chest are getting hit as well. I'm just as scared as you are, but you can do it. That's right. And there's no <laughs> easy versions in this workout. They're no. gonna be harder and harder. All right, eight reps. Here we are in three, two, one. Full range of motion all the way down, all the way up. Going down into those elbows. Get to a 90 degree angle. Nice and controlled. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. No shame in dropping to your knees on this one if you need to. Or maybe you can start on your feet and then transition to your knees. Again, all about making this workout your own. Last one right here. And push through. Good. Okay, that's one down of each. Going back to those lunges plus upright rows. Choosing a weight that's appropriate for you. A little harder move, probably not quite as heavy a weight on this one. All right, six in each direction. You ready? Let's do it. Big step and power as you pull up. Weight back in the hips, good posture. Excellent, keep that foot flat as you go down. You don't wanna come onto your heels or onto your toes. Excellent job, guys. Come on, keep it up. Last one right here on this side. And up, all right, opposite side now, right into it, no rest, begin. Every repetition, getting just that much closer to your goal, rep by rep. Getting that much closer. Here it is. Keep fighting, guys. You're a fighter, Two not more. a quitter. Let's see it right here. Last one. And pull up those elbows. Ah, Good nothing one. But, nothing but compound moves today. One compound move into the next. <sighs> Let's go into those push-ups. We're getting a lot of work in in a short period of time today. Again, using that diamond shape in your hands. Let's get full range of motion on these push-ups. In three, two, one, begin. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. And while it may be tempting to rush through these, I do want you to take your time with them. Halfway through. Keep that core tight. Back stays straight. You don't want your butt way up in the air. Two more. Even if you're on your knees, I want you to keep that back straight. Last one. And zero. Whew. Guys are doing great. Here we go. We got one more of each. Grab those dumbbells. Moving into that lateral lunge or squat. And three, two, one. Let's do it. <laughs> We're in it together, guys. Right there with you, fighting through it. Rep by rep. We can't rest, so you can't rest. Come on. We're all in it together. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? Last one on this side. And... Zero, opposite side now. I can't wait to hear all the comments about how much you all hate slash love Coach Kozak. Well, yeah. With well. this one. <laughs> well, uh, it's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> we understand that. As long as you guys keep showing up. And we read every comment. That's all we care about. Thank you so much for showing up, working with us today. All right, last one right here. That's it. Ooh, squeeze it out. Zero. There we go. Check those off the list. Let's go on to those push-ups right here. Right here, come on, Hester Tribe, where are you at? This is the last set of these. 
Last set of these push-ups, getting stronger every rep. You've already done 16. What's six more? Hey, I like that. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Last eight of these. And three. Eight more. Oops, yeah, sorry. Two. Sorry. One. Sorry, right, Claudia, a little Freudian slip there. I wish it was six. <laughs> Control the way up and the way down. Last eight reps. Come on, guys, you got it. Fight through. Rep by rep. Halfway. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Don't pause that video. Don't give up. Just keep pushing. Two more. Come on, pushing yourself because nobody else can do it for you. Almost there. Last one. And zero. Excellent. For our next superset, we're going to go back and forth between two upper body moves. They're antagonistic or opposite of one another. We're going to get started with a dumbbell reverse fly. Great one for the for your middle of your back, rhomboids, and rear delts. Go ahead and Feet shoulder width apart, bend over on a 45 degree angle, bend those elbows and wrap your arms like you're hugging a big tree. Now keeping those elbows bent, let's pull apart and squeeze the middle of your back and return back down. We're going to do eight controlled repetitions. Here we are. Let's get it going. And three, two, one, zero. Squeeze that middle of your back every time. On this one, I like to pretend like somebody has their finger right in the middle of my back and I'm trying to squeeze their finger. It's a good little mental note to make sure you're using the right form. So you're not just pulling back on the elbows, but instead you're pulling apart. And again, wrapping Two those more. arms, like you're wrapping your arms around a tree. Last one. And zero. And good. I personally tend to drop my weight on these a lot, because obviously I'm using my back muscles, which aren't as maybe strong as other parts. And it's a harder move, so you it's don't use as It's a harder move, so you may want to drop your weight, just an FYI. So for the next one, we're going to do a spin press. We only need one dumbbell for the next one. This one's going to work your chest. The opposite or antagonistic move here. So go ahead and squeeze that one dumbbell on both ends. Now we're going to extend your arms out straight. Keep squeezing and pull it back in. Keeping your arms out parallel to the ground. And the whole time, you're squeezing inward with your chest. Here we are for eight repetitions. And three, two, one. Squeeze as you extend and squeeze on the way back. This is one of the exercises that would be so much easier if you could just rush your way through it in, out, in, out, in, out. But then it wouldn't be nearly as effective. Really want you to control your moves. Halfway. Focusing on squeezing that dumbbell end over end throughout the whole move. Just pretending like I'm trying to crush this thing like I can. Exactly. Between my two hands. Good, keep the slight bend in your knees, back stay straight. And last one right here. Finish strong and zero. Excellent. Whoa. Okay, you need that second dumbbell. We're one down of each. We back to the root dumbbell reverse fly. Remember to use those legs as you pick up your dumbbells. Injury free around here, come on. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Slight bend in those knees, bend over at 45 degree angle. Hug your tree and now pull those dumbbells apart nice and controlled on this one and you want to keep your head and back in a neutral position so that means you don't want to be up like this but instead you want your head to be in line with your spine three more squeeze that back up at the top rep by rep nice and controlled last one zero Ooh. excellent okay one dumbbell spend press i think i'm dropping my weight on the spend press Ooh. Right, so mine is less about the weight, more about I'm so darn sweaty. It's slipping over here. All right, here we are. Let's go. Spin press. Those are my personal problems, though. All right, here we are. Squeeze that dumbbell together and extend. Full range of motion. Good. All the way forward, all the way back. Really concentrate on contracting your chest or your pectoral muscles. Squeeze them throughout the whole move. Good. Try our best to extend those arms all the way out. And three front more. Of you. Almost there. Come on, keep fighting, guys. You got it. You got it. No give up in you. There's no quit in you. Let's see it right here. Last one. Woo! Excellent. You guys, pardon my ugly workout face. Oh, I'm sure we're both making them. Okay, let's pick up that second dumbbell. Hey, if you still look cute at the end of your <sighs> workout, then you didn't work or out. Or during very hard. your workout. Yeah. So. I don't plan on looking too cute by the end of this thing. All right. Hug that tree, guys. Let's go for three, two, one, eight repetitions. Full range of motion on this reverse fly. 
You got it. Really control both the way down and the way up. Don't just fling them back there and allow them to drop. Especially control that negative or lowering phase. Two of more. The move. Flying by right here. Last one. And zero. Woo wee. All right, we're feeling good. Yes, Let's sir. Let's finish this super set up with our last set of Svend. It's S V E N D, by the way, just in case you're keeping track or scoring at home. All right. <laughs> Bonus points if you can tell us where it originated from. <laughs> I don't know, so leave a comment in the description if you do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Squeeze that dumbbell end over end. Try not to let it slide out of your sweaty hands. And squeeze it together and pull it back. Slight bend in your knees. Keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze those abs. Squeeze the core as well, not just your chest. Squeeze neck, core, those core muscles at the same time. Whoo, almost there. Feels so good. It burns so good, guys. Halfway. We're right there with you, rep by rep. There are thousands, maybe millions of you at home doing the same workout, feeling that same burn. All in it together, guys. Last one right here. Finish strong. Ah, and zero. <sighs> Excellent. Here we are at our last superset of the day. The first move, oh, she's excited. First one we're gonna do is either gonna it's be- It's hot in here. It is hot. Either a reverse lunge plus overhead press or a split squat plus overhead press. You decide which one's right for you. Either way, we're gonna start with those dumbbells up in rack position. I'm gonna step back, drop that back knee to a 90 and press overhead at the same time. Where Claudia is gonna start in that split squat position and she's just gonna drop the back knee. You decide which variation is right for you. We're gonna do six uh, repetitions on each side, 12 in total. Here we are in three, two, one, zero. So you're literally dropping underneath. So you're pressing up and dropping at the same time. So it's not a drop and then press, but instead pressing up as you drop your weight down and back. All right, guys, you have one more on this side and we're switching up. And zero, opposite side now, Woo. other leg. Oh, Three, sorry. two, one. Dropping both knees until they get down to about a 90 degree angle is your goal. Trying to come up before that back knee hits the ground. If it just touches the ground, it's okay, but you don't want a big strike. And last one, right here. Zero. Woo, good. Wow. Shoulders are on fire. Goodness. You can set those dumbbells down. We're moving to the floor for the next one. We're gonna get into a low plank position. I'm gonna do this one from on my feet. Claudia's gonna be on her knees. We're gonna do a scapular push-up. We're gonna start with a retraction, bring those shoulder blades back and squeeze one another and then protract, come all the way up and feel them stretch. Again, retract, bring them together, protract, separate them. Back and forth between the two. Keep your core nice and tight along the way. Just 12 repetitions of this one. Breathe, squeeze those back muscles. This one's not working your shoulders, your back, as well as your core. Nice, full range of motion. Halfway you, through, guys. You decide if you're better off from your knees or on your feet, they're both tough. Good, squeeze those back muscles, especially on that retraction, pulling them together. Almost there. One rep into the next. You All got right, it. guys, you have two more. Fight through it. Doesn't look like much, but this one will kick your butt. And zero. Oh, man. Good, good, good. Okay. I know that's going to be sore tomorrow. Yeah, so we're feeling Ooh. it too. That's one down of each. Back into the press plus reverse lunge or split squat. One down, two to go, guys. Come on, we're right there with you. Fight through the end. Kick those dumbbells up. And three, two, one, begin. Nice work, come on. Stick with it, guys. At this point in the workout, so important that you think about what brought you here today to begin with. Whatever it is, stay focused Six on is it. right here. And switch sides. Opposite side. Three, two, one. Right into it, last six. Come on, finish strong, guys. Core stays tight, good posture. Fight through it. Ah, come on. Two more. Burn so good. Last one right here. Zero. Ha. Ah, my shoulders are on fire. It's all right. That's how I know it's working. Oh, here man. We go. You are not right. To the floor we go, guys. Whew. To the floor we go. Here we go. Low plank <laughs> position. Scapular push ups. 
And three, two, one. Begin, drop and squeeze. Drop and squeeze. You got it, one rep. Right into the next, no give up. No quitting you. Come on, it's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. Halfway. That's what you're doing right here. Rep by rep, putting in the work. So close, so close. Come on, finish strong, everybody. Two more. Last two. And here we are, last one. Ah, zero. Good, good, good. We got just one more set of each of these. I'm gonna drop my weight ever so slightly <laughs> so I can keep good form. That's right. All right, here we are. Come on, right here, guys. Right there with you. We're feeling it too. Let's get it going. Last set. Three, two, one, and step back. Fight into the end. We don't stop when it hurts. We stop when we're done. Come on, let's go. We're not done yet. We're getting close, but we're not done yet. Last one on this side. Ah. All right, switcheroo. Last six. Here we go. And begin. Whew. Burn so good. Burn so good. Right there with you guys. Come on. Three more. Grind it out. Grind it out. Almost there. Last, Last one. one. Zero. Woo. Woo. All right, nice work, everybody. You set those down. Last set of these scapula push-ups. Finish with us, guys. Right here. Let's go, Hester Tribe. What you got? What you got? That's right. I want you to exceed your own expectations today. Make yourself proud. Three, two, one, begin. Remember, you're not in competition with us. Look in the mirror. That's your one and only competition. Trying to get a little bit better than you were yesterday. Day by day, putting in the work so you can accomplish those goals. Doesn't matter how slow you're moving, still lapping everybody on the couch who's not trying. Come on, know what you got. Getting, getting closer, guys, getting closer. Make sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Two more. That is. Last one, finish strong. Mm, zero. You made it. Uh. Nice work out there. Good work, Claudia. Whew. Okay, so workout's complete. Now we're gonna move into a nice light cool down. Yes. The purpose of this cool down is to allow your heart rate to come down slowly, as well as getting some extra mobility work in. <sighs> Catch my breath here if you didn't notice. Okay, we're gonna move on over to a wall. We're gonna do an overhead wall flexion. So I want you to get your whole back up against that wall, as well as your head. Best you can, flat. Palms are facing inward. Now let's bring those arms up, do an overhead wall flexion, and back down. Whoo, my shoulders are tight right now. <laughs> all yeah. the way up, all the way down. Nice and controlled. We're not counting any reps on this one. Just doing our best to work through that full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. Excellent. Breathe, nice and controlled. Yeah, really focus on catching your breath. Inhale and exhale. Trying your best to keep your whole back and head flat up against that wall. We know it's tough to do. My shoulders are on fire right now. It's all right, so I know it's working. Let's do this one for just five more seconds. And three, two, one, ah, zero. <sighs> Step away from that wall. We're gonna move into a chest opener, loosen up your chest. I want you to interlock your fingers behind your back. Now let's pull your chest apart as you bring your chest forward, shoulders back. Feel that stretch in your chest for an additional stretch. You can then bend over at your waist and bring those arms up and over while continuing to pull back. You decide which variation is right for you. Although if you're super sweaty, it's kind of hard to keep your fingers totally. interlocked. <laughs> totally, if you're super sweaty, <laughs> AKA me right now. <laughs> it's all right, doing the best you can. Hold and stretch that chest for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come up slowly. Oh yeah, slowly. Don't pass out. Okay, let's go to the floor. We're gonna do a sprinter stretch <sighs> or a quad stretch. 
depending on what you want to call it. One leg out straight. Let's go ahead and bring that opposite leg back. Easier version is with your leg out to the side here. A slightly harder version, like Claudia is demonstrating, is with her foot more tucked underneath. And for even more of a challenge, you can then lean back or lie all the way back. You decide which variation is going to be right for you and, and what's going to provide the right amount of stretch. This is a good amount of stretch for me right here. And with all stretches, you want to or all static stretches, you wanna to try to take them to like 85, 90% of what you're capable of. You don't wanna take it to the point where it hurts and you're actually inducing pain. Good, feel that stretch in that quad. Some nice, big, deep breaths. Whew. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Think about how awesome this workout was and you're done for the day, right? Just check this off your list. Switch sides in two, one, zero. That's it, and just be proud of what you've achieved so far today. No matter what you do or don't do for the rest of the day, you have this workout to hang your hat on and be proud for what you've achieved. And if it were easy, everybody be working out, everybody be fit, but my goodness, are they not? <laughs> it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. Everything in your daily life, from busy routine to sedentary requirements, you know, sitting in your car, your computer, all working against you to your nutrition options, yeah. especially. Oh my goodness, isn't that Just the case? bombarded with all Temptation. kinds of options, yep. So, way to stick with it today. Two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna move into a figure four stretch. Why don't you go ahead and lie down on your back. <sighs> okay. One foot down flat, bring that opposite leg and knee up. I want you to reach through your legs to grab that knee and bring that knee in as you stretch this side, you'll feel a stretch in your hip, stretch in your IT band, your quad, and in your glutes on this one. Try your best to bring that opposite leg in. If you can't quite reach through, you can just do it just by grabbing that leg, or maybe you're here. Again, make the stretch your own. Do what you have to do to make it work for you. Again, just use this time to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. Nice, big, deep breaths. And three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Switch it up opposite side now. Getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. Reach through and pull. Again, this is a great one for your hips and your piriformis if you have any sciatic nerve pain, as well as your IT band, which will help with any knee pain. Just making time for this mobility work here we're gonna be working as hard as we are we also have to focus on restoration work and keeping our body healthy pulling it in here for five four three two one zero okay we're gonna to turn to our right side now we're gonna move into what's called a page turner so go ahead and roll onto your right side completely bring one knee up both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle and arms are out in front of you. Now we're gonna do a page turner. So we're gonna open up the book and I want you to look in that opposite direction as you open the book and then rotate back. Nice and slow and controlled. I actually want you to look in that direction too. So you're looking over your opposite side shoulder. This one's again great for that thoracic spine, for your hips, shoulders, multiple body parts getting stretched out on this one, lower back. I'm all about these efficient moves, getting multiple body parts hit in just one move. Cause hey, you know, we're all busy. So we gotta be as efficient as we can with our routines. And on this last one, I want you to stretch and hold. Now just hold, good. Try your best to keep that opposite side knee on the ground and just keep looking over that shoulder. Stretch, stretch, stretch for five, four, Three, two, one, bring it back, close that book. Okay, flipping over one more time on the opposite side. And this is it right here, everybody. Getting so close to the end. Get that opposite side knee up. Both knees are bent at a 90. Bring those hands together. And now let's slowly open that book. Oh, feel that stretch and come back. And it's not uncommon to have one side feel tighter than the other. You'll hear Claudia and I mention that all the time. That's all right. And it might even switch from week to week. That's right. 
It's nothing wrong with you. It's totally normal. It's just something to monitor and be self-aware of your body at all times. Part of uh, longevity and fitness is really just getting to know your body, understanding when you're being overworked or underworked. Or, or if you just happen to predominantly sleep on one side. Yeah, thank you. Right? Yeah, totally. I, have, I know I've mentioned it before. I have shoulder issues on my left side because that's the side I sleep on. Yeah. So, and, But she's self-aware of it, exactly. which is so important. All right, let's open this book one last time. And we're going to hold, hold and stretch, big stretch for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Close that book one last time. <sighs> and that's it. We made it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how much water I just lost. <laughs> I'm going to go chug some water. Excellent work. And give this guy a salt pack. For real. Excellent work out there. Thank you so much for sticking with us and grinding through it right to the very end. Yep. If you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this routine with us today, we ask that you give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you never miss a brand new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts just like this one, our free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs and calendars. And if you are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever social media outlet is your favorite, come find us. We're there and con come connect with us. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.